Hi, Carol here. Once again, back to my craft room, and I welcome each and every one of you. Yes, it's after midnight, and I'm doing my voiceover. I just finished the edit, and this is the third of the four 5x5 five five cards with three uh, designed front, back, and middle portions designed on each card. So, so far I have done 24 card fronts in two weeks and I'm really thrilled about that because I just couldn't stop. This set is magnificent and at the start of every video I have shown you this release and I, sh I think I used each image in every one of these stamp and die sets I have used them. Maybe not a few of the sentiments, but I really tried my best to use everything in this release. So we're down to the almost last card, the third card. So let's get with it. Now remember, let's get with it. Listen to me. <laughs> yeah, well, let's get with it. So hybrid inks. Can I say enough about LDRS Creative Hybrid inks? They're so beautiful to work with. Whether you put them on with these fancy new um, applicators or the Tim Holtz applicators, if you put hybrid inks on with a baby wipe, you would get a fantastic result. I, I'm not kidding. I just love this. So I did the cover plate on one of these cards and I didn't have the exact cover plate that I used with the hybrid inks. This was to another card, but it looks pretty well identical to this. So I put it in here because that's what I'm going to be using. I think I had some pan pastels on the one I'm using also. So to begin with, I wanted to do something different. I was thinking about uh, doing a project using gilding flakes, different ways of using gilding flakes. That's my project that I have waiting in the wing. And yes, I have been creating quite a bit. I have quite a bit of projects waiting to be edited and voice a voiceover done to get them up to YouTube. So um, I thought of using this super fine micro, uh, it's called Solar Gold. Uh, let's see, what is it here? It's micro fine silk glitter. It's called silk glitter. And I'm not kidding. You don't have to heat set this. You don't have to do anything but put something sticky down and this micro fine silk glitter will stick to it and will not come off. So here, yes, it, all you have to do is grab a cloth, not, not a toothbrush. You know, my husband's toothbrush is getting a lot of use, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we all know the joke about that, right? It's not my husband's toothbrush, but you know, it sounds good, doesn't it? And all you have to do is get one of those fancy dancy brushes and just rub it off. Now, I wasn't sure whether it would, you know, stay put. But as I got going, I thought, whoa, Nally, let's just keep rubbing that thing. And that gold, it looks like gold. It is fantastic. So I thought, well, it worked on those two lines. I'm going to put two more out there. I didn't have any idea where my design was going to go. I really didn't up till now. I just knew I wanted to use this uh, silk microfine glitter and I wanted to experiment to see what it did. It isn't like glitter. I, I mean, it shines like gold, like actual gold. And I love the fact that you don't even have to burnish it on there. You just have to rub it on there with a soft brush and it sticks and it does not come off. So what are you doing, Carol? Yes. <laughs> Look at it sliding off the paper. I don't, I was just making sure the lines were straight. You know me with detail. I have to make sure the lines are straight. And yes, are you going to faint? I have two videos around the 30 minute mark. This is crazy. But you know what? I wanted to make these clean and simple for you and elegant because there are four cards with three sides each. That's 12 card fronts. Uh, I decided to put that back because I forgot to put my baby powder on and I wanted to have baby powder because then I didn't waste any of this fantastic glitter. So here we go, baby powder. And if you're wondering what's sticking out of my uh, hot pepper jar there that I keep my baby powder in, it's a long needle and I put the needle in down in the powder. It keeps it uh, 
nice and smooth going through when you're doing any sewing and that's why it's down in the baby powder. So that's one little uh, tidbit for you this evening. <clears throat> well, it's actually morning right now, this morning. And, <coughs> excuse me, oh, hide that Carol. This is my next project. No, it's my next next project going up. I haven't finished it. I have the box and the fourth card to get up for you and I'll do that on Monday morning. But I wanted to do a series on how to color balloons and using gilding flakes. And that's what I was doing there. I don't know why I kept that in the edit. I don't know. That's crazy. Um, but I did, and I'm not going back and taking it out because it's just a little wee surprise for you that you can see what's coming up in the future. So here we go. I'm just spreading my yummy baby powder. It smells so good, that Johnson & Johnson baby powder. It's probably dollar store baby powder where nothing's a dollar, I'm sure. Um, you know, it's so expensive to buy the really good stuff. I don't even think my kids, which are in their 40s now, had Johnson & Johnson baby powder. Well, they must have. I don't remember anything else out there. But I'm sure, you know, 40 years ago it was much cheaper than it is today. So here we go, let's get that micro silk. Um, you know, I have to tell a story on this. When I went to buy this a few years ago, I thought it was embossing powder. And I said, look at that gold. That's incredible embossing powder. And then I looked at it and it said glitter. And I thought, oh, I'm not really fond of glitter. So I let it sit, you know, in my stash. And uh, that was the worst thing I could have done because it's, Fabulous. Excuse me, don't walk in the glitter. Ooh, oh, yeah, now I've got glitter all over my craft room. He just doesn't listen these days. That's okay. So then I thought, you know what? I, this uh, piece of paper that I'm using on my 140 pound cardstock is pink, but it's too big for this. Remember, my cards are five by five, and I wanted to use the stitched, double stitched largest heart. I love these bubble hearts. They're just oh, delicious. I love them. And uh, so I'm securing it down. And uh, this is the project that I showed you before. I'm using the balloons. And this is from LDRS Creative. I'll explain that when I do the next tutorial. Uh, the next, next tutorial. <laughs> So here are the things that I wanted to work with. I'm putting them in a pile and then I'll just start designing because remember I told you when I get the release I just color everything as much as I can with the time I have allotted and then I can design a little quicker. So here we go. I liked this idea of having two ledges because I'm going to use the fence and it kind of like looked like a fence without the fence poles. It's kind of like a f without the ants, you know, back there. <laughs> no, Carol, don't do that, yes. So I'm gonna cut the, the stitches off of that because I used a square stitch uh, die to cut this out. And this I used, if you remember, I used, I had uh, gold uh, gilded flakes on there and I used that uh, in the release there, that beautiful cover plate it makes the impression down in. It doesn't cut the impression of the hearts out. And then you use the stencil to go over it if you want to lift it up. And you can look at my other projects that I have. I did many techniques using that cover plate. So here we go. You can see the gold in there. And I'll show you. I put silver in there. All kinds of yummy, yummy colors. And um, let me see. I'm not sure if... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not even sure when I look at this if it's the pan pastel or if it's that liquid, that powdered, if I use the color burst. It was so long ago, I can't remember yesterday, let alone remember when I started this a few weeks ago. But anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And it is on my 140 pound cardstock. So here we go. I'm going to quickly put a design out there and it's going to be a birthday card because now Valentine is over. So I thought, well, there's sentiments on birthdays. There's all kinds of sentiments in this. Like I said, 22 with the die that cuts them all out with flag bands, different sizes. So I thought I'm going to put a nice Christmas pie 
you know, out there. My husband loves my banana cream pies, but this is an apple pie. He loves those too. So I'm going to put an apple pie on the fence, like I'm going to go, you know, it's cooling off out on the fence. If all, of, you know, I'm on a farm, so if all the animals don't come and get it before my husband can get it, it's going to seep right out on the, on the picket fence. And then there, uh, the little girl, remember we colored her in, and then there's a nice sun image that I cut out when I first got my release, and the, that, that's not going to be on there, it's going to be happy birthday, but I had to kind of get an idea of what I was doing, and then there's this clay pot with flowers, they look like those uh, golden bells that hang. And, uh, and then I'm going to use a strip of glitter, of course, because that's the theme of all four cards. There's some gold glitter in every card. So we're going to go along with that. And it's fantastic to have this many flagged sentiments, you know, on hand in a little bowl that I can choose from. And so this is going to say happy birthday, but it's a start. Do you see that? Oh, this is my LDRS Creative uh, app applicators you know that I use and I'm going to use distress oxide inks because the pink is so pinky delicious that I thought what goes well with pink well I'll tell you what goes well that uh, pistachio oh that green pistachio I love that then I got out the pink lem no pink lemonade no then I got the yellow lemonade one and I got a the lightest pink there, that Victorian pink. I think it's called Victorian something. It's been so long since I've used the oxide inks, but they're so soft and delicious. I thought I'd use those. And I'm going to cover up my gold just in case. You know, I didn't want anything to happen. But uh, here we go. We're going to, and remember this, we're, we're using, we took the guts of the heart double stitch die out so we're using the leftover, the emptiness, you know, the empty spot, and then the inside will have the gut heart with it, the guts. We're going to use that. And uh, look at me here. Doesn't pink and this pistachio green look gorgeous together? And that gold going across there. Now, don't ask me why. It just reminded me of a fence, not a fence, because there's no, there's no, poles going down in it. It's just this first part, the F-E-N, the fin. Yeah. Ooh, look it. Look at this. It's a fin. Don't cover the fin. we got to keep the fin. Off they go. They just wanted to check it out, see what I was doing. So I'm, <laughs> I'll tell you what she's doing. She's going crazy. That's what she's doing tonight. So I put some pink and then of course I'm going to put that uh, something lemonade. Oh, I wish I had saw that, but it's lemonade. They're beautiful together. The pink, the lemonade. Is it festive lemonade? No, it's festive berries. Oh, I'll find out. I love these. And these, these the applicator things, you know, you can get buy them online. But I get them at the dollar store when nothing's a dollar. You get four of them for like $2.25. And you just brush them on your fiber brush and they become clean again. And then I'm going to do the edges with my crocodile, make the points all come off so it looks nice and soft. Because I figured the bubble heart is round, so I'm going to round the corners. And then my uh, Prisma pencils came out. I'm just uh, darkening up the pie image. There they are. My Prisma pencils in the beautiful glass jar. I love putting all my coloring mediums in glass jars so that I can put them on display and I don't have to go looking for those and they pretty up my craft room, you know. So here we go. I'm making a crust. Uh, I made chicken pot pies this week. It just reminded me of that. And then I tried to make the bottom of the pie look like a tin, you know. Although I used glass pie containers, but, you know. The, and there's my extender, my pencil extenders, if you saw that on the white. And I'm going to make them in a... Well, I wanted them to look gray, to be honest with you, see? I wanted them to be gray, but one of the grays turned out to be light brown. <laughs> How did that happen? So I had to back up and make all of them look like the one up there, just so that it looked aged. And then I'll go back in with a Copic Friendly, um, in my case, a Prisma Pencil Friendly 
marker. It's a Faber-Castell um, 0 0.3 or a 0 0.03. Make some lines, you know, just like it was wood and put some wood grain in there. It's the craziest wood grain. It was something because they must have looked at all of the wood and said, boy, these are identical. Let's put those up on our bin, right? So here we go. That's just, is this looking like a fence? I'm thinking to myself, oh, you can't stop now. You can't stop now. So once we get that down, I remembered that I had these glue dots from like 1843. Oh, hello, you gonna stop by? Ooh, yeah, I haven't seen these. I haven't seen these upside down either. I think I bought these when I first started crafting five years ago and I hid them in this box, this yellow box that said love. And I found them today and I thought, oh, I'm gonna use these. They're really nice raised up uh, round dots. You just have to put a you know, a few on there because you don't want any of them wilting or sagging. But you know what? I'm on this kick of using stash stuff, even with my LDRS Creative release. And haven't you loved this release? I mean, really, you can use this for any occasion and get a beautiful look. Here, I'm just going around with my art glitter glue and putting it on top of the dots because I have this fear of card, my cards falling apart. I never want that to happen. So I always take an extra precaution. And this way I can move it too, right? If I have to shift it, and you know I always tend to have to move it, uh, I like to have some liquid glue on there. And isn't it looking pretty so far? I just love it. You got the stitches on the top, the stitches on the bottom. You got your fan going across in gold. And then you have your uh, beautiful pink, yellow, and green pan pastels. And the designs, I, I did an I Love You More little um, tag you can see to the right there that we're going to color. And I'm just thinking, okay, now I've got to decorate this heart in my fan. So um, let's just wait a minute and press all of these down so they don't move. And then we'll start decorating. I just think it's gorgeous. I am loving this. Four five by five cards. And wait till you see the box they go in that I um, made for this. You're going to love that too. So everything is colored, so we're going to get it into place. I put that other fence. I wanted the right hand fence to be longer, so I needed to raise this up. So I took my Durace thin strips and raised them too high. Well, they weren't too high, they were. TWO high and so that they would meet up exactly with the other fence and just run straight across. Then I'm going to seat my pie on there and I'm going to put some of those aroma marks going up out of my pie. Mm -mm. Yeah, I needed to add one more across there. So I hope you had a good day today. It's snowing. It was snowing off and on here in Ontario. Uh, it's warming up. It was minus 11 yesterday. It's really funny that I, oh, I'm getting a close-up here. It's really funny that I say the weather because seldom I go out in it, you know. <laughs> I'm just checking to see what it's like out there while I'm crafting in here. Yes, so here we go. Let's get those up. Put that on just right with my tweezers and get the other one and my pie. There it is. I'm going to kind of tuck that. I'm not going to raise that up. I'm going to tuck, oh, there's my mm, smells going up in the air. My aroma smells. Does that look good? Oh, yummy. And I put my um, Glossy Accents, which is the 3D crystal lacquer I used on that to make my tin look tinny. Now I'm going to get my ruler, my regular, and I'm going to make sure that this is even. You know me with detail. It has to be even. Unless I'm doing mixed media, then I doesn't bother me to be all over the place. Then I have the sun there and I put some of the lacquer on that. And the difference between this 3D crystal lacquer and glossy accents is this is thinner. So it comes out faster and you can limit how much you put on it. Oh, don't you love hearts? I love gold. I love hearts. I love this uh, silk microfine glitter. Um, 
And like I said, I will get everything up on my blog. Sometimes because I do my edits so late at night, I don't get my blog info there until the morning. Then I went to the stash and I got myself some art impression boing boing things. I took one of the minis and, and took them out, took one out. They're, them is in the bag and I took one. And then, and then, uh, that reminds me of some song when I was little. And then, and then, and then along came the... See, it's leaving my mind, which is good. It's good it's leaving my mind. But <laughs> see what happens after a minute? I'm telling you, I turn into a different person. I don't know, a crazy lady. There we are, boing, boing, boing. And I made sure that her little uh, patent leather shoes were touching the bottom fin. And uh, it's coming together, and I'm liking it. I'm really loving that plate. Uh, I haven't used that. Uh, and remember back when I designed the, I think it was the first card, I did my crinkle ribbon. I just put some runner tape down on a piece of paper, took some stays on red ink and some stays on gold, and it had this little I heart you, and I made my own specialty ribbon that said I love you all the way across. Well, it actually says, I love you, I heart you, but it's beautiful, isn't it? And when you use the Fiskar stamp press, it's just, ch -ch 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 -ch, and you're finished. That's it. Then you tear it, and you start at the other end, and it takes you like four minutes and 23 seconds to do two of those. How do I know? I don't know. I think I'm just making up stories. But this one I did upside down, but that's okay. Just keep it going. Don't cut it off, just keep it going. And you have to be careful when you do this because the more pressure you put down, right, the darker it is, but that doesn't matter really. It just gives it that uh, shabby chic look. I love this uh, crinkle ribbon. Love it, love it. I think I'm out of the white, which puts me into a panic. It's like butter. I don't know about anybody else, but I have to always have an extra pound of butter in the fridge. I always do, or otherwise, like I have this anxiety thing happening uh, because I bake, you know, and I love butter, and uh, yeah. So there's those little bell. This this is one of the stamps in the friendship set, and I love making clay pots. Just add some brown, some orange, and you pretty well have a. Cl there's my brown, more for the center, just to have that sunlight spot on my clay pot. Wow! Let's put a sunlight spot on your very own LBRS Creative Pot. Yeah. Ch -ching. That's it. That's my song for 1230 at night. Now here's our happy birthday. I told you I'm crazed woman at the end of her rope when I do voiceovers after midnight. I don't know. I, you know, you'll have to watch videos, my tutorials, when I don't do voiceovers. Happy birthday to you. There's a song we sing at church. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. Every day of the year, may you find Jesus near. Happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May be the best year you ever had. When we sing happy birthday to people that come out to church, that's the song they get. There's another song too, but I'm not going to sing that one because I, you know, the video is almost over. I mean, can you believe it's only 35 minutes long? I don't know. I'm going to run out of things to say. So, like I said, happy, excuse me, could you get out of the way? The balloons, they can't see me putting the crystal lacquer on my little bells. I colored them yellow, pink, and of course, that beautiful uh, pistachio green. Isn't that coming together wonderfully? It really is nice. And I started with, in my head, of just having a fan going across there. You know, can't you can't say fence, remember, because you don't have the poles in. So it's just a fan. And then you can put your whole fence up to design it. And I, 
I don't know. It reminds me like a little bit of wonder. Like somebody's looking at this card when they get it and going, I wonder why she put those two lines of um, silk micro uh, glitter in there. You know, what do you think, Henrietta? I don't know, Lucy. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe she had some in her stash. She did. Yes. Oh, boom, boom, boom. She's going crazy. Do you see that? No, it would be, do you hear that? <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I'm going to get serious here. So we're going to look organized. Look at that. We're going to get out our oxide inks. And this is the most well-used um, a stencil to date that I've used, isn't it? I mean, look, at I couldn't even get all the colors off of it. And I've been cleaning it each time, too. Uh, I just slide it under the water and wash it off because I don't mind not having all of it clean because the next time you use it, you get a little bit of extra color in there and that just adds yumminess. So that doesn't bother me. So here you go, four five by five cards. Three sides of each card are designed exactly like they would be if you designed just the front of your card. That's a little bit of gilding flake was there. So I wanted you to be inspired by 20, let's see, three sides, four cards, 12 different inspirational designs so that's why I did four sides of my cards for you and I do that anyway I love doing four three sides sorry but I love doing four sides so here we go there's the inside of the heart doesn't that look like it looks like a pour like a paint pour doesn't it oh I love it however that turned out like that I just loved it so I thought okay I'm going to use my gold crinkle ribbon so we need to cut two lines, and I'll make sure that they're straight across, as straight as they can be. And, yep, yeah, get out something to make it, to hit it at the right spot on the bottom. And then draw the lines. I'm going to run the ribbon through the back, up through the front, tie it to the left-hand side in a knot, just a knot. And then I'm going to pretty that up. You're not going to believe how pretty it's going to look. And I'm using stash products. That's what I get so excited about. This is a stash product, my wrinkle ribbon. And I get to use the I Love You stamp from the Friendship friend, friendship 33 stamps in that. Unbelievable. And LDRS Creative, may I tell you, check the clearance out because you are going to be amazed. Even the prices for regular items are truly, truly a savings. It's remarkable. And remember to look at it so that your I heart you is facing the right way. If you look at this, you will notice it's not. The heart is upside down. And you're thinking, well, when did you realize that? At the final minute, the final second, the final hour, I noticed that those hearts were going in the wrong direction. But I corrected it and all was well. So I did my double-sided tape. Yes, yeah, sometimes this glue just dries out on me so quickly I don't have time to do a thing. There we go. Yes, and I'm going to seat that down. Look at that. I really do love that heart. I love everything about it. I This release just had me wild and crazy. I was so thankful I was healthy and able to get as many things that I did get up, which is 24 card fronts so far in two weeks. 24 card fronts, my special friends. I'm so pleased. I hope you were inspired and uh, you enjoyed it with me. And that they're five by five, nothing complicated. Get over to the left. I generally, if I tie just a uh, knot like this, it's mostly to the left. You'll notice that when I do it. And have I, yes, I corrected that. I love you. And I made a nice short little uh, bow. Isn't that pretty? Then I went to the stash and got my dots, my, my uh, enamel dots. Haven't seen those for ever. And I put them in the middle of these heart daisies. Oh yeah, look at that over there. Look at them, look at them, yes. And I have brown eyes, that was me. I was looking at them going, good job, Carol. You found your enamel dots. And I even remembered they're called enamel dots. It's beauteous, look at that. Love it. So here we go, the pink on the pink, different shades of pink. 
I couldn't find any yellow enamel dots, so I used poils. Yes, I used poils. Nothing like a good pearl is there. So here we go. We're almost finished, my friends. Is this not crazy? I mean, we are almost finished. I feel like I just started talking. And uh, my husband's doing very well. He's, uh, he's recovering from that two-week pneumonia. And, um, and I haven't uh, gotten it. So that is a really good thing. And I've just, I've been too busy crafting to get sick. <laughs> I have a little bit of a sore throat. It seems like I always do, eh? It might be because I talk so much. Maybe that's it. When I do voiceovers, because I've been doing many of them. So uh, maybe that's it, you know. Um, so here we go, yes. It's nice and quiet up here uh, in my craft room. And I always say I need quiet because I had the second floor to our country home. We designed it so that I had the entire second floor. So when you walk up the stairs, it's a wide entrance that you come into, so it doesn't have a door. So you can, if I do my voiceovers, I like to do them when nobody's around. So no doors shut or doorbells ring or anything. It's nice and quiet. And this is a wonderful time at uh, 12.30 you know, 12 midnight going into the morning. Now take that vellum out. So there's that portion. We're going to put that. It's so pretty. that It just matches wonderfully. I really liked it. And I created that today, like just this afternoon. I just thought, okay, I have to get this up. And then I went on and did the fourth card, the last card. And then I started the box idea to put them in. And the envelope to this, I'm keeping just solid white. Remember I used the stencil? No, I'm keeping it just solid white. Because this is so pretty. It's just really pretty. I'm putting my sequined tape on the back everywhere so it stays stuck. And I encourage you to go over and look at the shop. Uh, of all of the wonderful products, I think that the one item that I got so excited about, about was the uh, sentiments, having 22 different sentiments of different lengths, and you cut them out with one die, and they're all flagged. And you can put them on any colored paper, use any color embossing, uh, uh, pa embossing paste, any color glitter or uh, embossing powder, that's the word. And uh, it's beautiful. You know, I think I've got about 66 flagged sentiments sitting there that I can grab at any time. And so there you have the inside, my friends. Doesn't that look just so sweet? And then I put the green, the pink, and the yellow on my little tag and put it right there in the middle. Kind of just flewed across there with the uh, flowers. And uh, yeah, I love you more because the... Uh, I was thinking I was going to put that I love you on the front, but I put happy birthday. And then it says I love you more. That's okay. You know, I love you more because you're getting three sides of your card done. And on the back, plain and simple, I just put another one of the long tags. And it says my fate, get your fingers off there, Carol. My favorite something are shared with you, something like that. Boy, my glasses are so dirty, I can't even read that. But anywho, it's beautiful. My favorite times are with you. That's what it is. I've used it on the other card. So thank you very much, everybody, for spending this time with me. I'm so happy that I'm going to have, so far, 24 card fronts from this release in the last two weeks. I Do you like it? What do you think, my tweet little bird? Oh, I love it. I love it, Carol. Thank you. I So, you know, if he says it's okay, it's okay. So, you have yourself a blessed week, as I always say. Thank you to LDRS Creative, to the design team members. Your projects have been wonderfully inspiring. And I'm going to see you Monday. Uh, tomorrow's the Lord's Day, so I'll get it up on Monday. And, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Boing, boing, boing. There you have it, my friends, the third 
Okay, bye now and enjoy the pictures. Take care.